Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'll bring you a very special Week 13 breakdown of the Seahawks taking on the Vikings. What, uh, I want to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now. And without any further ado, let's hop right into the action. Now, coming into this football game, we've seen the Seattle Seahawks get a big, big, big victory. Even though they lost Jimmy Graham for the season, you're looking at how they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday in, in outlandish fashion and how they were able to win that football game late. And then you saw the Minnesota Vikings run all over the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta last week. Coming into this football game, these two teams need to win all the games that they can. The Minnesota Vikings are trying to create separation between themselves and the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers and trying to steal that NFC North division. Meanwhile, the Seattle Seahawks are just trying to hold on to that wild card spot that they currently have in the playoff seating. These teams are interesting because they have a lot of talent on each side of the ball. The Legion of Boom defense does not look like the same uh, teams that went back to back to the actual Super Bowl. They may look like themselves physically, but their play does not speak that. They've given up big plays, play after play. We saw the Pittsburgh Steelers continuously grind out big plays against them in the uh, passing game and in the run game. That pass rush is not getting to the quarterback as frequently as it used to in the last couple of years. Uh, this team is not gelling. I don't know if it's uh, Quinn leaving and going to the Atlanta Falcons as the head coach, but their play calling seems off. They seem like two steps behind. When they feel like a, a play action is going to happen, they feel like it feels almost like they called the, the, the defensive play for that two plays too early or two plays too late before the actual play happens. So this team isn't playing as one unit. You know that the offense is stuttering sometimes, and they had a big output from uh, angry Doug Baldwin and Russell Wilson last week. But you got to keep in mind this team has to be consistent on offense. Without Marshawn Lynch, they have the baby beast that's running behind him. But you got to keep in mind without Marshawn Lynch, this team is not going to thrive. Without him, they're not going to win another Super Bowl. You have to keep in mind he is the heart and soul of this football team. Yeah, you got Cam Chancellor, that's really one of the the key pieces, but. But he seems a little off also. Even though he got a big interception last week to kind of help them win that football game, he's missing assignments on defense. There's holes all over this defense. The Minnesota Vikings found their groove back against the Atlanta Falcons, and it was just in time. Adrian Peterson continuously does what he does. Teddy Bridgewater is not turning the football over and helping this team win football games. The wide receivers are playing excellent. The defense is stepping up, making key plays. Also, special teams is 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 becoming better and better for the Minnesota Vikings. You look at Zimmerman and what kind of job he's done with this team. He deserves some type of accolade for the coaching job that he's done. And you're looking overall at where this team could end up at the end of the year. I think that the Minnesota Vikings will take a big step forward as far as winning uh, the actual division. I think they have the tools to do it. And I think that this is the right time for them to start bringing out more plays. You know, Adrian Peterson is running the football. He's had his struggles this year as far as fumbling, but they've been in almost every single football game that they've lost this season. That's a good thing. That tells me this team fights. This tells me this team is outstanding as far as their leadership, as far as them having heart, and they're going to fight to the end. Now, the Seattle Seahawks, they're in a little different boat. They can still coast a little bit, but you have to keep in mind, you have a lot more losses. You have to, you have a lot on the line. You're not going to be at home. You're not going to be in the friendly confines. You're going to be out where it's cold, where nine times out of ten it may rain, it may be slick, maybe sleet. So kind of figuring this game, it's going to be a toss-up. But I have to go with the proven on the ground runner, Adrian Peterson and the Minnesota Vikings. I think they'll be outside in Minnesota and it'll be an advantage for them. You know, it rains a lot in Seattle, but it doesn't get as cold like it's going to be in Minnesota. So if it's a, a situation where they could have a lot of sloppy weather, I have to go with the Minnesota Vikings. They're built for this. They're an outside team now, and I'm, I'm feeling the Minnesota Vikings will win this game and extend their lead over either the Lions and or the Packers and move forward in the next week. All you Seahawks fans, all you Vikings fans, leave your comment section below, but I got to go with the Vikings. So uh, check us out. Check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the hottest updates in sports. And as always, we thank you so very much for tuning in this week. Come back next week for week 14 where you can give you some of the hottest matchups, the hottest breakdowns, and the prediction picks. Thank you so very much and tune in.